Hi, I'm Dan McTague, Member of Parliament for Pickering and Scarborough East, Liberal Member of Parliament. I'm also the party's consular affairs critic in Ottawa as well as critic for consumer affairs. Under the previous government, I was also parliamentary resp uh, secretary responsible for Canadians abroad. One thing was very clear is that Canadian politics, uh, whatever positions that were taken in Canada, were always reflected accurately in our international uh, dimension, the uh, ideas that we put forward. It was absolutely clear to all Canadians uh, that uh, Canada is a nation that, uh, that uh, observes uh, abolition of the death penalty, advocates for its abolition around the world. And so it came as something of a surprise to see not just the Foreign Affairs Department, but the Minister responsible for policing in Canada delving into the area of foreign affairs and saying that we will not, in fact, uh, plead for clemency in the case of Mr. Smith, who, who is facing execution in Montana. Not only is this puzzling, obviously, for the governor, it is obviously puzzling for the international community. There are reasons why Canada does not believe in capital punishment, and I take the same traditional role that previous leaders, conservative and liberal, have in the past, and that capital punishment that does not bring back the person who was killed, and it basically denigrates the state to the level of those who have committed these heinous crimes. Uh, a state that is, uh, seeks retribution uh, is not a state that I would consider progressive, and I think Canada's role internationally has been badly affected by the major decision by the Harper government uh, to in fact do indirectly on the international scale that which it cannot do domestically. It's up to Mr. Harper and his friends in the Conservative Party, should I call it the Reform Party, now to suggest where they really stand with Canadians. Canadians are clear on this issue. Uh, there are some variations, but I think uh, overall we have put this issue to rest. To see it brought back again is yet another example of a hidden agenda, but more importantly, that means so little of Canadian life, not just here in, in Canada, but abroad. That's a tragedy, and we must stand up and stop Mr. Harper from trying to do his, uh, his, implement his agenda through the back door.